A journey from Earth to space in an elevator sounds like something out of a science fiction movie. But the potential for this form of travel to replace traditional methods may be closer than we think. Developments in space elevator technology have been happening since the early 2000s, and there have already been some successful test runs. While riding in an enclosed vehicle in outer space may seem like a daunting prospect, orbital elevators are promising safer, faster and more cost-effective transportation when compared to rocket launches. The use of lasers instead of cables would allow these space elevators to reach closer to Earth's gravity well and further distances than was previously thought possible. However, many legal and logistical hurdles still need to be overcome before humans can truly take the ride of a lifetime on an orbital elevator. My name is Adam Anderson, and welcome to Life's Biggest Questions. Let's talk about what if Earth had an elevator to outer space? Let's dive on in. A space elevator is a structure that would extend above the Earth's atmosphere, allowing objects to be placed into orbit around the planet without needing to expend energy from rockets. It would consist of two parts, an anchor at the bottom and a platform at the top that can hold payloads. The anchor would likely be located in an area free of buildings or anything else in its way. It could be secured by a cable connected to another cable that runs from it all the way up to the platform in space. From there, spacecraft carrying people or materials could dock onto the platform and be lifted into orbit. A space elevator could potentially be constructed of a strong and lightweight material, such as carbon nanotubes, synthetic diamond or some other type of advanced composite material. The cable required to construct a space elevator would need to be tens of thousands of kilometers long and therefore must be stable enough to handle the tremendous forces put on it by its own weight and the motion of objects moving along it. This means that whatever material is chosen must have an incredibly high tensile strength in order to support the immense load. Some possible materials for this purpose are carbon nanotube reinforced composites ultra-high molecular weight polyethylene fibers and even single-wall carbon nanotubes. However, these materials come with their own drawbacks. They may not be able to meet the strict performance requirements or could prove too expensive in terms of production costs. The actual construction of such a structure is no small feat, as it would require advanced materials capable of withstanding extreme temperatures, differences in air pressure and other environmental factors, all while being miles tall. To make this possible, Scientists believe we must use carbon nanotubes to provide strength and flexibility, along with other structural components made of metal alloys or ceramic-based materials. The most challenging part of this project is launching something of such immense size into space. But even that obstacle has solutions. One option includes using rockets or orbital launchers, but they are incredibly expensive and unreliable due to their risk factor. So instead, Many suggest using ultra-powerful lasers that can shoot beams up multiple times over a few hours until the entire structure is launched successfully into space. After the structure is up in orbit and operational, there will then need to be some form of transport for whatever it is that needs to reach space, whether that's people, satellites, supplies for astronauts on board the International Space Station, etc. And this too has been planned out already. A climber system made out of robotic arms attached to an electric winch would travel along the cable up and down from ground level to its destination, 22,000 miles away in space. Safety measures also need consideration for when something does eventually go wrong within this astonishingly complex setup. For instance, if power goes out, or if something else malfunctions during transit between Earth and space, to ensure both lives and property are not put at risk during any sort of incident like these. Finally, after all those obstacles have been accounted for and surpassed, comes one final challenge, funding. Securing enough money for such a massive undertaking like this isn't going to come cheap nor easy, but it could be done if enough private entities come together toward backing such an endeavor. A space elevator has always been a cool concept in my opinion. I hope you enjoyed today's video. My name is Adam Anderson and please let us know any suggestions you may have in the comments below.